Hello and welcome to the brush comparison, paintbrush comparison for uh, Purdy and Hamilton. Hey, just a little backstory. I am a qualified painter and decorator. I did my apprenticeship sitting in guilds four and a half years, block release, many years ago. Uh, so I've had a few brushes in my hand. I did get out of the trade for a while, um, but I'm back in it now. Uh, so this is just a comparison about these brushes. Um, when I did my apprenticeship uh, many, many years ago, like I said, um, it was always Hamilton brushes, pure bristle Hamilton brushes, okay? And uh, we used to get two sets a year in our company, free, the company supplied them. That was when painting and decorating was quite high class stuff. Um, now, not so high class stuff, but um, never mind, that's another matter. Anyway, let's just to comparison these two brushes. Now, first of all, the Purdy, you can get a box set, which I bought of three, uh, which was just over 28 pounds, okay? And then the Hamiltons was a box set of five. They give you one free sash brush, which is basically to paint uh, sashes, you know, windows. Um, free, that's what they say, it's free. But it's six, just over 16 pounds. So there's quite a big uh, price comparison between the two, right? So you'd expect um, the Purdy to perform a lot better, at least I would. And this is just my opinion, by the way. It's uh, what, I, what I experienced, okay? Now, to look at them, they look, these two inch brushes, by the way, are going to be um, uh, 50 millimeters brushes. The Hamilton brush is a little bit thicker on the stock. Uh, by the, uh, as comparison to the Purdy. Okay, so uh, that's the first thing uh, you, you would probably notice slightly. The Purdy is uh, typical Americanized. It's um, got things on the box, how great it is, how fantastic it is. It's got all this, it's got that, you know, and what you basically you expect to buy this brush and then put it next to the paint and it will probably do the wall or do whatever you want it to do itself. That's how it appears to me, but it, it, obviously it doesn't. But yeah, it's typical American and I stuff. Uh, they like uh, all the packaging and that. Uh, they think it sells something. But don't forget that you're paying for all this packaging when you buy the brush, okay, remember that. And the Purdy is packaged as uh, in the box, it comes out like this. It's got Purdy and all the slapdash stuff all over it. And uh, it says, uh, this one says, um, I think you can see it, it's stiff. This one says it's a stiff brush, right? And um, let's open it up. I'm packaging it again. And then it comes out and here's the brush itself. Okay, so here's the bristles and they feel fairly, fairly good. Obviously synthetic bristles, of course. They spring back, uh, not too bad. Um, looks all right. So yeah, it looks just like a normal uh, brush uh, to me. So it's got Purdy stamped on the um, on the handle, of course. Right, uh, okay. Now let's go comparison to the packaging of the Hamilton brush. Fairly basic packaging. I have no idea why you'd want to razzmatazz it up on the Purdy, but there you go. Um, here it is, the brush. And uh, let's take the packaging off which is just a cellophane thing, which is fine. Right, now, in comparison to the two, um, I would say um, the stocks, if you take a look, the brush bristles are um, <clears throat> basically thicker on the Hamiltons, right? They, they seem to be thicker. And it seems to be more of a brush, if you know what I mean. Now, my experience has been, that I've used them both, uh, that the Purdy brush is a little bit whoopy, <laughs> whoopy, is a little bit wimpy-ish. I, uh, I used uh, uh, for one for undercoat and I used one for gloss. Uh, that's all base gloss, that's the, always still the best. I know they got water-based, uh, but they're st still not as good, I'm afraid. I'm an all-base guy if I, can, if I can get the customer to uh, go with the extra expense. <clears throat> <clears throat> but um, yeah. I found it a little bit wimpy. In other words, you know, spreading it out. In gloss, you have to spread out a little bit more. And uh, this brush was a bit of a struggle. 
and this brush was fine. Uh, the Hamilton's brush seemed to be fine with it. So that's uh, one of my, uh, one thing I didn't like about the Purdy. And also it didn't seem to hold a lot of paint, the Purdy brush, um, as opposed to the Hamilton's. So in other words, I was um, dipping into the paint kettle more through the job doing it with this Purdy brush than I did with the Hamilton's, right? Um, it doesn't seem to hold very much paint in the brush for some reason, right? So yeah, this is a Hamilton's brush. Um, obviously it's got Hamilton's written on the, uh, on the stock there. Um, but they looked fairly similar to the brushes, um, fairly similar. Now, obviously, uh, Hamilton's has been going for many, many years. As I said, it was uh, the brushes that we used, pure bristle brushes, mind you, that we used for um, when I was an apprenticeship and uh, all the quite a few years after that. And um, of course, let's not talk about the badger's brush because nobody's going to know what a badger's brush is. But um, we're into these brushes nowadays, right? Now, I'm not going to down, but I'm not downing each brush, either brush, by the way. They both do this, do a job, um, Pacific job, and whatever. I just found that the Hamiltons did a better job and an easier job for me when I was working with it than the Purdy. Now, um, I wouldn't mind if they were both the same price, but they're not the same price, are they? Um, there's quite a big price difference between the two. Um, maybe the, the, the Purdy brush will last longer. Um, maybe it should do for the price uh, if you take care of it and uh, longer than the Hamilton say. But uh, it's all down to work for me and uh, this one I find to be a better brush. Um, so that's, that's, the, that's my personal opinion on it. I'm not uh, sold on the Purdy. I think they're overpriced for what they are. I have heard that the roller cage for Purdy's uh, tend to be quite a bit smoother than a lot of other cages. I've heard that. I haven't actually used one myself. Um, I was going to get um, a Purdy, K, uh, Purdy roller uh, stock thing that goes from 12 inch to 18 inch back down to 9 inch. In other words, you can move it back and forth and it fits all uh, the roller heads available now, which is a good idea. And I was thinking about getting one of them, and I thought, well, you just get the one um, cage thing and it will do them all. But I heard that after a while, the Purdy um, adjustable cage for the roller heads um, tended to start getting wiggly. Uh, so if it fitted a 12 inch, it was wiggly, and then it was wiggly, it wasn't set on it, right? So I bought, um, <clears throat> I bought a 12 inch, uh, just straight set Hamilton one. Uh, that would always be 12 inch and you can always buy um, a set one that's made for 18 that way there would be no um, it doesn't there's no movement in it it's it's, it's just the 12 inch and that will do it uh, so and the, and the purdy uh, cages uh, were quite expensive as well in fact purdy all purdy stuff seems to be very overpriced and they're overpriced because of all the hype, the packaging, the extra packaging that is not really necessary. Let's face it, all said and done, it's just a paintbrush. And at one time or other, you're going to throw it away, right? <clears throat> so if you do it, work with it every day, um, you're going to eventually throw it away and buy another one. And I would sooner buy that one for the price than to see this one uh, and sometimes they're so costly these brushes these pretty brushes that I'm I'm a bit dubious about putting them in paint um, if you know what I mean and that shouldn't be the case so I'm sticking myself my personal and my purse just my personal thing is Hamilton's for me uh, pretty uh, if you lowered the price if they lowered the price um, in comparison to say Hamilton's then um, I would be more interested in using these brushes but at the moment they're they're too expensive for me. Uh, I, I won't buy any more of these. I might try the uh, roller cage and see if that is... Uh, I'll buy the standard one, uh, 12 inch, uh, so it's set. Um, so there you have it. I mean, other stuff of the uh, Purdy uh, line, uh, I think the roller pole uh, has a few good uh, ideas on, the, on it. Um, so yeah, I think the, the roller pole is pretty good. Um, so I've got, I've got a Purdy roller pole because um, it was on sale at the time and I've had no pro issues with that. Um, but it's just the brushes. They're just a bit too uh, too expensive for me. And uh, 
I'd hate to throw this away. But um, <clears throat> so that's my take on it. Uh, you can do with it whatever you wish. Um, it's entirely so. It's uh, it's up to you. It's up to you. Some people probably swear by the Purdy brush. They probably think it's an absolute fan dream. Um, I didn't really get on with it very well, but that's just me. Okay, so you can either go for your expensive purdy brushes, and um, it will not give you the skill to paint, by the way. You still need that. Or the reasonable priced Hamilton brushes. And for me, it's the Hamilton brushes. Until purdy maybe come out with some brush that I think is fantastic or whatever, and it's worth buying. So, um, yeah, good luck with the decorate now there. And in the, your home people, people who just dabble in the painting, I'm going to just do their own place or whatever. Then, yeah, um, the brushes are important, by the way. Um, you just go down to, say, B&Q and buy yourself a pack of brushes of about 200 in there for about, you know, eight quid. And you, you, your paint finish is not going to look very good. OK, uh, you, you've got to buy a reasonably decent brush. And, and Hamilton's are probably a, a great... Harris, actually. Harris is another fairly good make brush, which I've had a couple of Harris's brushes, and I found them pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, so, uh, but, yeah, if you're going to paint your own house or you're going to paint your own room or everything else, then do, um, do buy a reasonable brushes. And these aren't that expensive. I mean, 16 for a box of five, um, pretty good. Uh, Maybe you don't think so, but yeah, it's pretty good uh, if you consider the amount of the cost of paint. So who are you going to go for, right? Who are you going to go for? Are you going to go for Purdy or are you going to go for Hamilton? Well, I don't know, but I think the Hamilton got out, uh, got out the gate quicker on that one. But anyway, thanks for watching. Take it easy.